certain setting, and in this case, it's a real one. It's not a fake. That's not true. that the other one wasn't nice, but uh, we're at American Taki here in Salinas, California. It's a beautiful, sunny California morning. Last week it was raining out here. Mm. Uh, we're in amongst a lot of their existing and also some new varieties, but we're going to mm. take a look inside the greenhouse to see what Taki has new for 2011. Hey, we've come inside Taki's lovely little greenhouse here. Very colorful. And we're going to look at uh, an AAS winner. There you go, Diane Blazik. All American Selected <laughs> winner. Uh, Flower and Kale Glamour Red. And that's right here. This is a whole new kind of Flower and Kale. And Ellen, why don't you show why? Well, it's because there's no wax in the leaves. It's quite shiny. And that's a Can first for that? ornamental kale. Or kale usually has a, a, a grayish, waxy leaf That's right, a little bit of wax. That leaves it sort of dull looking. But uh, Glamour Can Red is uh, is nice and shiny and I think if you look at the one back here Jen you can even see even more of it that kind of sheen with the light coming off of it. it's very pretty all American selection winner for 2011 don't know if they have any more colors coming in fact they're so secretive at Taki that nobody gets to look in the back room except the breeder himself and I think he has to wear a blindfold <laughs> but um, so that's glamour red flowering kale move over to another winner how about something bright red this is summer jewel red salvia coccinea this is also an All-America Selection winner, and uh, what really makes it uh, a, a hot new variety is... Uh, it's got great branching. Great branching. It's compact and has lots of flowers, and it blooms about three weeks er earlier than uh, Lady in Red. And it attracts hummingbirds? Yes, it does. We I got a good one, picture of one, too. We saw one of those buzzing around here. So that's Summer Jewel Red Salvia Coccinia. Now, uh, Taki does some nice pansies and violas, um, especially violas. Here's the Gem Series, Frosty Blue Improved. Now, normally we wouldn't take the time to show improvements. You know, everybody's got to improve their varieties. But we actually met and talked with the breeder of Gem, and he says uh, Blue Improved is really the model for the series as far as the flower power, the compactness, the shape, clarity of the color, everything about it. This is what the, uh, the Gem Series uh, is going to really be uh, be evolving into. And speaking of and gems, here's scarlet. a new color. This is scarlet. And what they uh, say about this one is it really holds its scarlet color much more consistently mm -hmm. uh, despite changing temperatures than anything else. It doesn't uh, kind of darken out or turn brown or anything like that. And uh, in their Iona uh, Pansy series, uh, this is Frosty Blue Improved. Uh, shorter flower stems, a uh, more compact plant, and a nice round flower. Uh, check this one out. <laughs> That's a nice color. This is their Nature Pansy series. Nature is a small flower that cross between uh, pansy and viola. This is Rose Piketty, the first Piketty, in fact, in the uh, Nature series. Nature now has 20 uh, different colors in it. They actually say that the, the name should really be more like purple, because this is a pretty accurate as far as the color. It's definitely a little more of a purple than a rose, I think. I don't know what, how it's coming through on the video, but there you go. Ellen. Yes, we, should, sir. we shouldn't make any. <laughs> this is a, this is this it's is an interesting one. It's interesting, yes. This is something we're not going to make any jokes about. This is something I saw growing in my yard, but a little bit of uh, herbicide took care of it. But they understand the jokes. This is a Chloris truncata, so which is a, a, a tropical grass. It's called Flying Stars. Now we're going to show you a version of this that that you really like. Right. But yep. no, it definitely looks weedy. But can you see the the cool little. Uh, uh, seed stalks that are sticking up here that do look like stars. Yes. Little antennas sticking up there. Um, so that's a new kind of a, a filler kind of a plant. And uh, Linaria Fantasy is a series they've had a long time. It gets a new color, Fantasy Apricot. Nice fragrance to that. And right next to that, last but not least, a new Gomfrina um, Globosa color, Audrey White. Uh, first white in their, uh, their Audrey series. I said last but not least, I meant that's not last, right. but not, not last, <laughs> because we come back around, back to Kale, where we started. A new series. A new series called Songbird, a three-color series. Um, it's a kind of an improvement over their pigeon series, but, the but pigeons still have some colors that, uh, that people want. Um, but this has uh, pink, red, and white, and they say it's a little more compact. And actually, the way the, the breeder worked the, the foliage, it drains the water out better if it gets rained right. on. It's more up, upright leaves, so yeah. rain so, just so goes the, right the off. plant holds up better. So there's a, there is songbird white.
little uh, different over in a pot, but put it in a container like this, and those uh, seed heads stick right up there, really add nice interest to this combination container. And the funny weedy aspect of it is hidden down underneath, so you don't even notice what the, the plant looks like.